What's up guys? Today I thought I'd do a video on my Romanian Wasser 1063, more commonly referred to as a Wasser 10. This is one of my favorite rifles and it's definitely not my more expensive rifles. There's just, there's something about an AK I cannot explain. I remember when I bought this thing, I bought it because the guy selling it was giving me a really good deal on it. Came with two magazines and 50 rounds of ammunition and it was I believe 250 bucks. I could not turn something like that down. And I remember going out to the range for the first time with it and loading up the magazine. Oh, I had a smile on my face the whole time. I remember like putting the magazine in and rocking it in for the first time. And then uh, I don't, no other gun just does this for me, but the charging handle or the, the charging the bolt on an AK is so much more satisfying. I don't know how to explain it. I just, there's just something about this gun that after owning it five or six years, I'm still excited every time I pick it up. So a lot of the reviews on these guns are not always positive and I've seen some videos where they've had some very genuine issues. I think I must have lucked out because all the issues I've had with this gun have been easily correctable. Now, what's funny is this magazine has a chunk missing out of the follower. And by far, it's the more reliable of the two that I got. Um, but it's not very reliable. I have seen these jam up the gun. So I, I got this Magpul one to put into the gun. And this is what I usually run the gun with. When I have this magazine in, it is 100% reliable. When I use these, these are more fun to rock into the gun. But uh, when I use these magazines, they're not always the most reliable. They have a lot of feeding issues. Huh. And the final issue I had with it, which was more significant, it actually shut down the gun, was I had the hammer pin come out. I'm not entirely sure how it did because how it works is the uh, safety selector spring goes right on top of the pin and holds it in place. Somehow it popped out under recoil and uh, it didn't come out completely, but enough that the hammer was able to churn and I couldn't even get the live round out of the chamber because the, the hammer was in the way. I had to take the gun apart just to get the bullet out. I 
interesting. We actually had a... Huh! So that is a significant issue, and for that, I probably wouldn't suggest this for a uh, defensive gun, personally. But that's not why I got it. I was able to fix it and mind my language, but I found the best way to fix an AK is to jam a screwdriver into it and yell, fuck you. <laughs> I find that is the, the best method to get this gun working, is to scream at it. But I was able to uh, get the spring back into place. And as you can see, everything works. Actually, the last part of footage that I got was after I put that pin back in. And it doesn't seem like that pin wants to come out now. So I'm not entirely sure what happened. I mean, it's not an expensive gun. You can see by the rivets. If you look at the rivet back here, it's not exactly the best built AK I've ever seen. I mean, you take it apart. And you look inside the receiver, you're going to see a lot of machine marks. You even look at the bolt or the carrier, you're going to see a lot of machining marks. So it's definitely not a pristine AK. You know, whenever I'm on camera, it's always harder to get it back together. There's something about being on camera and knowing you're being filmed that makes you a bumbling idiot. <laughs> just, just putting that out there. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. I swear I could get it in there so much quicker when I'm not on camera. Anyways. So, <laughs> that was fun. So yeah, I wouldn't say this is the highest quality 8K I've ever shot, but there's just something about it. I don't know how to explain it. Rocking the magazine into the receiver is just so rewarding. And no other gun has this feel for me, is charging the weapon. I mean, even the sound of it, it just has a sound I love. Oh, and this one will hold open if you pull the bolt up and back. It's got a little hole back here for a cleaning kit. I kind of wish it came with it. My SKS did, but this one didn't. But aside from that, I really do like the AK. I will say I think the stock is a little bit short. I find that when I, I shoulder it, I feel like I'm scrunching more and it's more uncomfortable. And I find when I shoot this thing, I'm not always the most accurate because I feel uncomfortable. But aside from that, I love everything about it. I mean, I know the wood doesn't look beautiful and that's why I like it. It looks worn. Yep. For the longest time, I didn't have this thing sighted in because I didn't bother. I just went to the range and just bang, 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 just for fun. Uh, it's the best stress reliever. I mean, going to the range, putting the magazine in, and then just bang, 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 into a dirt pile. 
<laughs> it's just so much fun. And I know it's stupid, but it, there's just something stress relieving about it. It's hard to have a bad day when you're shooting the AK unless it falls apart on you. So it did come with a bayonet. I haven't picked this thing up in a while. It's kind of dusty. It's kind of a cool looking bayonet, but the problem is, is it doesn't really fit onto the rail very well. I was able to file it down a little bit to get it to come on, but I'd have to file it more to get it to lock into place. See now, oh, it, it's on, but now <laughs> getting it back off. So. I think the previous owner might have dinged it up or something. I don't know. Maybe at some point it, it got damaged a little bit. Anyways, I can get that to work if I really wanted to. But it did come with a bayonet. All right. <laughs> gun I didn't think that I was gonna fall in love with it. I thought it was just something cool for a really good price and then once I started shooting it I fell in love with it and now you're not gonna get this thing out of my hands So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just, I always enjoy when I can take the AK out to the range. It's, like I said, one of my favorite guns. So if you'd like to see something in future videos, please put something down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you would like to see in future videos. So stay tuned. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up and uh, a couple Russian pistols hopefully will make its way onto the channel soon.